Hello everyone. In this uh, INR series number 94, we are going to discuss about a very important PYQ that is juxta glomerular apparatus. Right? So what is juxta glomerular apparatus? It is consisting of three important cells. Remember three important cells are there. Who are these cells? Number one is called as JG cells or juxta glomerular cells. Second one is macula densa. Third is mesangial cell. So these are the three important cells which are forming the juxta glomerular apparatus. So what is the juxta glomerular cells? Juxta glomerular cells are modified smooth muscles in the afferent arteriole. So when you will see the structure of the kidney, you will notice there is a afferent arteriole. You can see it is going like this. And at this area, you are seeing modified smooth muscles. Remember, afferent arteriole, modified smooth muscles, they are forming juxta glomerular cells. Their basic function is to give vasoconstriction and to reduce the blood flow, right? Now coming to the second cell, which is macula densa. What is macula densa? They will be sensing the sodium level, sodium chloride sensors, right? And what is their location? Their location is at distal convoluted tubule. This was a PYQ, right? Macula densa is located at distal convoluted tubule. So now you can see this is the macula densa where it is located into the distal convoluted tubule. So this, these are the cells which are called as macula densa and their basic function is to sense the sodium chloride which is coming via glomerular filtration, right? Third one is the mesangial cell, right? So mesangial cells are modified macrophages of the kidney, which will be present in the mesangial matrix. So now you can see these are the mesangial cells, right? So these are the three important cells which will form the juxta glomerular apparatus. What are these things? Juxta glomerular cells, macula densa, and mesangial cells, right? So juxta glomerular cells, what they will do? They will secrete the renin. Right? When they will secrete the renin, whenever there is a decrease in the renal blood pressure. So whenever renal blood pressure is low, they will release renin and it will be also released by increased sympathetic tone by beta 1 receptor. So these are the two things which are controlling the secretion of renin from the JG cells. Right, Number one, decrease in the renal blood pressure and number two, there will be increase in sympathetic tone by beta 1 receptor. Macula densa cells, what they will do? As I said, they will be sensing the sodium chloride. So whenever there is a decreased sodium chloride delivery to the distal convoluted tubule, right, they will also increase the level of renin and this renin will be causing afferent arteriole vasoconstriction, right? And this afferent arteriole vasoconstriction will be increasing the GFR, right? So this is the way we have to understand the JG apparatus. Their basic function is to control the tubuloglomerular feedback mechanism. So this is an important topic. Keep revising these topics. Best wishes for your exam.